Order. and separate it from the omnibus bill. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, priority of corporations isn't to provide infrastructure, it's to make profit. I know it's breaking news. <laughs> the Liberals secretly plan to develop their privatization bank with corporations behind closed doors. That's as transparent as, say, a black rock. If the Liberals actually want to put Canadians ahead of corporate interests, will they simply commit that there will be no tolls or user fees as a result of this bank? Honourable Minister of Infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, we, we always put Canadians ahead of anything else. We approved, we approved 11 projects in members' own riding. 11 projects in members' own riding with a combined investment of $34 million this year, Mr. Speaker. That is putting Canadians first. That would not happen under the previous government, and that would not happen if a third party was in power, because they had no plan for infrastructure, Mr. Speaker. Honorable member for North Island Powell River. Well, let's just get this clear, Mr. Speaker. It's not just the NDP raising red flags. KPMG, you know that old socialist firm, provided a report to the government that said the so-called infrastructure bank could lead to, quote, public relations disasters and embarrassment. Embarrassment because of the potential to slow down projects, lack of clear details, and Canadians' aversion to user fees. So will the Liberals reconsider this corporate welfare bank? We're just trying to save them from some embarrassment. The Honourable Minister of Infrastructure. Well, well, Mr. Speaker, we have some of the world-known investment funds here in Canada. CCPVI, one of them. Omers, one of them. Right? These are the funds who would like to invest in Canadian infrastructure to grow our economy and create jobs for the middle class. That would benefit Canadians from coast to coast. That's exactly what our plan talks about. And we will continue to invest in our traditional funding models, and we will continue to engage with our private sector, because they're the ones who deliver infrastructure on behalf of Canadians now as well, Mr. Speaker. Exactly.